Hi, Shanna. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. So my first question is, why did you decide to be a part of this project? I think for me, um, just kind of moving into the filmmaking world, uh, it's an art form that I feel is very beautiful and cathartic. Um, and as I was moving into making a uh, first feature, it was very much I was looking for that story that just like made me believe in things again and made me feel um, like a kid and that I could just play with. And uh, this story seemed to have that kind of in spades and, and so much uh, compelling stuff that I was just very excited to play with. And the movie is full of references. I mean, maybe yeah. um, Celtic mythology and all this yeah. stuff. And can you tell me a little bit more about your references? And I I'm really curious about it. Yeah, the, the story is very much kind of grounded in the folklore of Ireland, um, which is such a beautiful kind of complex story uh, that, that really still exists, I think, in the culture there today. So I was really drawn to this idea that there is um, a mythology that is existing alongside modernity in a certain place. Um, I thought that was a really cool kind of element of, of this story. So uh, yeah, just, just did sort of like a lot of reading and a lot of um, talking about what this, what this mythology was uh, for, for the movie. And for you, uh, what's so unique about this, uh, this first book, this first uh, story specifically? There's so many wonderful elements. I think what I was really intrigued by was that it sort of, when I read the book, it made me feel uh, like that kind of classical storytelling that I grew up loving. Uh, it's very much like written as a kind of gothic, gothic story. Um, yeah. So I really, yeah, I really appreciated like that structure of it, that it was, um, yeah, a very clean and, and old school character kind of going into a, a space that she doesn't know and the world just expanding and expanding. So I really liked that it felt um, kind of timeless and, and like something I would have seen when I was a kid. And can you tell me what was your biggest challenge during the, this whole process? There was so many kind of pragmatic challenges. I think as as on all film sets, it's just Murphy's Law, like everything, everything is unexpected and there's many different elements that come to play, um, which I really enjoyed that piece of it. I think uh, for me, the greatest challenge was just like my battle with myself and sort of um, <laughs> finding kind of confidence through the process and um, trying to kind of, yeah, stay, stay sharp and, and um, yeah, believe in myself in those ways. So it was really just, uh, yeah, sort of that kind of like inner dialogue that I think comes to play. And what was the... Um, main message that you want to pass to the audience? I think there can be many things taken from the movie. I think for me, it was sort of um, both making the movie and the movie itself is like a journey of um, healing and self-acceptance. It's sort of about uh, no longer being afraid of the darker parts of yourself, um, which I think is is uh, what Mina's journey is intended to be. Did your father gave you uh, give you any advice for this specific movie? He gave me so much advice and and has throughout my life. I think um, for this one, he was really supportive in. Um, me kind of accomplishing my visual vision uh, and and sort of um, I think really like encouraged me to to go big and sort of yeah play with play with all the elements I was wanting to play with so um, it was really just like throughout the process he sort of fostered a sense of like go for it um, and and was there for me as a champion. Thank you, Shanna. Thank you Thank guys you. so much. Bye. Lovely to talk to you.